What's going on everybody? So preview for tonight's game, Manchester United versus Astana, Europa League. I think the lineup will be as follows. I think Romero will be in goal. Delo's back from injury, so I see him starting at right back. Twan Zebi, um, centre back. I also think that uh, Phil Jones will probably play and partner Twan Zebi. And I think he could play Rojo at left back, but I've got a feeling he's going to play Ashley Young and play Ashley Young on Sunday as well. Uh, so he's going to be knackered, but I he might play Rojo, but I think I've got a feeling he's going to play Young. Um, I believe he'll play uh, Fred in the centre mid. And I also believe he'll play probably Matic. Um, on the left, um, obviously Daniel James picked up a knock, so he's injured and won't be involved. Obviously we heard Greenwood's playing, so he'll be up front. I think on the left, they might play maybe Pereira. But he played on the right the other week, so whether Pereira starts or not is another matter. Um, could be matter. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think matter a start though. He says it, Solskjaer's on about starting the youth, and I think here's the thing: Lingard's back from injury as well. I think Chong should be starting, but I've got a feeling that Solskjaer's going to go with. Uh, Lingard over Chong. I hope I'm wrong, but I think Lingard will be on the right. So I'll say on the left, I reckon probably Pereira. Um, but I'd also like to see Angel Gomez involved. He needs to get involved. He's been on the bench several games this year. Obviously Barcelona are in for him, and we're just not playing him. And I've seen short glimpses of him. I haven't watched him too much, but I know that he's a player. And he should be starting tonight. If he don't start tonight's game, then they might as well just sell him to Barcelona because he's just not getting the chance. Um, as I said, I hope Oli goes with Chong over Lingard, and I hope Gomez gets in over people like Mata. Tonight's a it should be a breeze. It should be, but we know how United make a meal of stuff. So I hope. I think Twan Zebi, he looks like he could be a future player for United. Um, did well at Villa last year, so he, he could be a future first-team player. So tonight's game is, is a vital stepping stone for him to, to prove a case in point. Same for all the youngsters, really. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, it's hard to get as excited about Europa football. Than, I don't usually watch Europa League, but being a United fan, I'm going to check out their games this year, innit? And hopefully we'll get into the Champions League through it. So, um, yeah, Astana, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not Barcelona, it's not Juventus. So, Goldbridge has gone for 4-0. I'm going to go 3-0 United, uh, but with many chances to, to probably get about 6 or 7. But I'll say I'll go for 3-0. I think Greenwood will get 1 or 2. Um I think Fred might get one. And hopefully maybe Twanzebe from a corner or something, a header. Um, but yeah, tonight is... We need to start our season. Like Obviously, our opening day win against Chelsea was good in the league. Um, but since then, it's not really been good enough. So, scraping a win here and there or drawing and can, like late goals losing. So... Tonight, for the youngsters, is a case to, to set them up for the season into the league as well. Oli keeps talking about playing the youth and he, he's not really doing it too much. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see who he picks tonight because it's going to say a lot about the squad going forward and which players he fancies and which players he don't. Because you can talk as much as you want and big up the youth players. But if you're not going to play them in games like this, then that says a lot. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Um, I'll be back as well today with Premier League predictions for this week. And yeah, let me know in the comments what your, your thoughts are.